Let's bring in Mike Bailey, Director of Research with FBB Capital Markets. It's good to see you, Mike. And by the way, just curious, what makes, uh, what do you think accounts for the very positive tone today? Yeah, you know, I, I think that we're getting a bit of a break last week. It was sort of, you know, just uh, markets were getting hit left and right by bad news. You had Google out there, Meta was pretty mixed. Today, things are okay. You know, one of the bigger companies out there was McDonald's. Earnings are pretty good. Certainly doesn't have a whole lot to do with the tech companies, but absence of bad news from big tech and people are waking up, you know, it's a brand new week. Maybe they had a nice weekend. Hey, wait a minute. Tech is trading at a nice discount now. So maybe folks are getting a little bit more excited about it and they're putting their money where their mouth is today. Do you think that's prudent of them? Uh, so it, it depends. I think for us, in terms of, you know, do you want to buy the dip? Do you want to buy some of the big tech stocks after they've taken a hit? Depends where you're coming from. So if you're maybe underweight, your equity allocation, now's a good time. Go take a look. You know, stocks in general are trading cheaper than they have over the past 10 years. That's pretty compelling. That's a good time to take a look. The other angle is maybe now's the time to buy the dip and add to quality. So maybe there's something you've been hanging on to, anchoring to a stock for a while. Maybe it's a loser. You're struggling. Get out of it. You know, try something new. There's a lot of quality companies out there trading at a discount. Pepsi, McDonald's, you know, companies like that, exceeding investor expectations and trading at a discount. That builds in some some uh, cushion in case we hit a recession. So it's a good time to, to add to some of these quality names. You, you mentioned Pepsi and McDonald's. In the last week or so, there have been some people who have been talking about how the uh, weight loss drugs may sort of curb the appetite for those companies and for those stocks. Are you a subscriber to that? Uh, train of thought. Uh, totally disagree. Completely disagree. We've certainly we've we've heard the haters out there. Uh, I was a healthcare analyst for a long time, so I'm familiar with some of these drugs. Uh, there's a lot of questions out there. How many people are going to take these GLP ones, Ozempic, Wegovy, etc.? At this point, even if the bullish Wall Street estimates are correct, you're maybe talking about five percent of the U.S. population. A lot of those folks don't go to McDonald's. They don't drink Pepsi products. So I think there's a lot of fear built in. People are you know, selling now. They're going to come back later and figure out, hey, wait a minute, if these companies are still here, they're still growing, and you're getting some of that opportunity to discount. So we really would push back and see that a little bit differently. I, I know we have results coming out from Apple and NVIDIA later uh, in this cycle here. Let's talk specifically about Apple, which is a company you own. What do you think? So good company, uh, I think, of the mega cap tax, Magnificent Seven. This is one where we are seeing a bit of a slower growth period, I think, compared to some of the others. So it's a good company. It is kind of transforming into almost a consumer company. Very nice recurring sales on the services side. You're paying for that. It's got a pretty full multiple. So it's a good company. It's got a very nice growing dividend. I think for us, if we had to make one or two decisions, we might buy something else. We might buy an Amazon or a Google here. But Apple's a good company. Put it away. Uh, you know, something, again, good to own for the long term. But, you know, I think we'd rather at this point tactically stick and add to some of the other. That's a uh, very honest answer. And I, I have to say, uh, tonally, one that that sort of surprised me. You don't hear, you usually hear people saying about Apple, it's a great company, not a good company. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's certainly a debate out there on Wall Street. Uh, they've got an excellent track record. I think for us, you know, growth is pretty critical and exceeding uh, investor expectations. They've done a great job historically. Maybe they're in between product cycles at the moment. So again, good company, longer term. But if you want to buy something right now, what business is really growing, exceeding expectations, and trading at a discount? There's so a couple of those out there. Now, again, Amazon maybe looks a little more compelling. Google also more compelling. So uh, really, you want to make sure you're diversified within that mega cap tech. Mike Bailey, thank you very much. Appreciate your candor today. Thank you. Thank you.